somebody came and asked me, this is my nature. And is it wrong that I carry on with my nature? <laughs> there is no wrong in carrying on with your nature as long as you're conscious. When you're unconscious, then your nature is bad. When you're conscious, you melt. Yes, you melt with the nature. Your nature with the nature is more powerful. You don't have to worry about anything. The whole world walks behind you. Blaise Pascal, born on 19 June 1623 in Clermont in Ferrand, France. Died on 19 August 1662 in Paris, was a French mathematician, physicist, inventor, philosopher, and Catholic writer. Blaise Pascal said, our nature consists in motion. Complete rest is death. So one time, one of our disciple called Shankar Prasad. He is now a corporate lawyer. So he took me to see his place far away on the outskirts of Bangalore. Father has got some property. He said, come there whether we will be able to start a branch. So I went with him. So I met his father. Of course, food was late because they, they think we people eat a lot. And one thing I understood, his father said, daytime, nobody should sleep, nobody should sleep. Daytime is not the time to sleep, only night time. The daytime when you sleep, you are gone, you will be deceased. I thought this man is joking because daytime, after the heavy practice in the morning, we have to sleep. <laughs> Our next is again post lunch, going to schools, the clubs, again heavy punches and kicks and all. <laughs> But daytime, no sleep. That was the truth. Yes, because when I was going with the um, Deputy Director of Public Instinct, DDPI, Hanuman Pasar, he of course he passed away. In the car, he intended <laughs> sometimes fall asleep. That time he told, no, 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 while traveling them, keep your eyes open and look, you don't get this chance every time to see the nature, what is happening in the road, and then you become uh, try to become conscious of trying to find out how to make things better tomorrow when you become a leader. This is not a time. Sleeping is only in the night. So people ask God, yes, everybody has things like that. And Anumad Prabhu, sir, whenever we stop the car, he tries to go buy a competitive exam book or competitive books or something, keeps on reading and I keep on looking. Yes, so people has got that, that mood, yes. Uh, our nature consists in motion, complete rest is uh, death. The, the movement is very, very important. Shankar Prasad has now put a huge amount of weight, huge amount. And uh, during our time, eating was a way of life. And uh, I, I was a very bad eater. I eat very, very less. So when Shankar Prasad father laid out a huge amount of food, I was shocked, how could you eat? <laughs> but in our group, there was a bull. Wink at the bull, he can eat. So nobody can challenge him. After Venkat the Bull, Sambal Karaja kick it. Oh, they can eat <laughs> Then Killer Jun from Nepal, he is Kala. He will not eat in front of others, he'll serve, but you will eat inside very much. Because in Japanese, they believe the more you eat, you can move powerfully, you eat. Seven times full stomach, you put your two finger and you vomit it up again, push seven times and you have more petrol to burn. Only then you can roll like a thousand man warrior. That was uh, fun during those days when we looked into the movement. Our nature consists in motion, complete rest is death. Even small rest is also um, maybe a slow poison. That's one step leads to 10,000. That small rest sleep in the daytime uh, might take you to 10,000 steps of your long sleep. And that is death. Why I'm telling this one is what Blaise Pascal said is our nature called motion. Flowing water is fresh water, so keep moving. People say in the cities we do not have any work. Our houses are too small. One room to another. No, 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 no. City is yours. 
not your house. The house is a part of that city. You are a part of that city. So the whole city is yours. You have to go outside the house and continuously, not just once in a while before the rain comes, like what our former Chief Minister S.M. Krishna said, before the rain, the task force to be organized and the drains have to clean and move and all. I kept telling this present government, they went and met, the Deputy Chief Minister went and met uh, the former Chief Minister S.M. Krishna was very old and he said he will do the task force, but nothing of that sort happened. But your duty is daily without a break. Yes, once everybody comes out of the house and cleans up the dra drains every day and find out how the water moves to what directions when the, if the rain comes and then you pedicure and manicure the whole external area and you find out how to allow the sunlight to fall, you trim certain branches to allow the sunlight to fall into the beautiful trees and plants which is outside, remove the small small papers and keep it neat every day. That motion is your health, that continuous movement is your richness. Whether you have enough money, you retire your money in the bank, what uh, pension I get it, that is sufficient. No, 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 till the last drop. Like the Zen master said, no work, no food. When the ch disciples went to the, uh, when the um, followers went to the disciples and told, this man is so old. He's the head of this ashram, monastery. He's too old to work. Why don't you just uh, ask him to take rest? So the disciples went and told the master, master, good and move. So they hid all his instruments and locked it up. Master refused to eat food. One day passed, two days passed, three days passed. He refused to come out of the house. At last the disciples gave, gave him the, all the tools back. He went to the garden. He did his work. He came back to the dining hall. And before he ate his food, he said, no work, no food. Till the last day of your death. That flowing water. He said, if I eat food without eating because I'm old, you will practice even now from your young age. That's what happened with all the destruction of our temples. Our temples are destroyed because all the Swamiji's and Guruji's, the moment people touch their feet, they thought, touch their feet, they thought, touch their feet, they thought, they are great. No, no, touch their feet means people are telling your feet bloody damn it, you have to go damn uh, right into the soil to dig deeper so that the roots go deeper and the tree can stand taller, we can stand taller. We are asking you to dig deeper, work in the hard labor, work in the field. Okay. Show us the path. These people thought it is the philosophical book that they are asking us to. No, philosophical book is good. Your satsang is good. All that is good. But you have to do your karma yoga. All Swamiji is all good. Karma yoga, you have to sweat. No sweat. No food, no work, no food like that. That if there is no sweat, people call you stupid. Then you cannot sit on the throne. You are you are sitting on the throne like a stupid person. Hence the poverty. You should be an example, Swamiji's. You should be an example, dear Guruji's. You should be an example, dear leaders. Just because people, the moment Indian Sanskrit, people are telling it's a salute, it's a shake and but Indian Sanskrit something deep rooted, deep rooted. They touch their feet to tell them, please create the foundation, work hard and prove us. We just want to follow. Yes, work hard. Roar like a thousand man warrior, not telling everybody, I eat only this much, I am fasting. No, no, no. Japanese are telling me, we learned it from India. Seven times more. Seven times you eat seven plates and you have enough petrol to burn, burn it up. And then night you get a beautiful sleep. You don't have to tell me. Samira Kumji, I got blood pressure, I got sugar, I want to what medicine? No medicine, there's only one medicine is work hard in the field, in the sunlight, in your ashrams, in the field, in the road, before you enter any place, before you enter any place, first go around the house and work before you even take the garland from the hands. That makes you and the nation powerful. That makes you and the nature melting to create a deeper the light, the truth, the God, Blaise Pascal said, our nature consists in motion, more complete rest is destruction, disease and death.